So today, November 22nd, marks the 61st anniversary of the assassination of American President John F. Kennedy. In 2020, I began to do a lot of research into the Kennedy family, and I was working up in New York City for the whole scamdemic, and on my way back down south, I had stopped through Atlanta, and I stayed at the American Hotel, and it was interesting. It was like going through a time portal. I want you to check out some of the decor. Lots of interesting things on display, like this American tourister luggage and attache and this retro entertainment system with an old boob tube and radio. And we had the red phone that represents what we were going through at the time, a cold war and nuclear threat. Russia, Russia, Russia. I believe they're saying that JFK called Khrushchev on the phone to de-escalate the nuclear war threat. All through the hallways and lobbies, you really got a vibe for the 60s. Every detail. Check out the graphic pattern of the carpeting. And the pictures hanging all around gave a sense of what was popular in terms of graphics, graphic arts in the 1960s. Even the doorknobs had that 60s nostalgia and Josephine was my traveling buddy all 2020. We were all over the place while the world seemed to be shut down and she picked her bed. It was a nice hotel. It was different because I don't normally need hotels when I'm in Atlanta, but this was just a quick stop. I needed a nap from the long drive from New York City. And this was just, I don't know, it popped up and I stayed. I didn't know about this decor, this time capsule. And thinking about the assassination of the U.S. President JFK, I was talking to my mother today and she recalled the day that this happened. She was working at John Wanamaker's in Philadelphia when the news broke and she said she was instantly grief struck and everybody was heart broken all over the world. This was such a heartbreaking moment for people. And his nephew, RFK Jr., has put in a request that we get full disclosure about this assassination. So we will stay tuned.